Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and thank you, Mr. Secretary, for being here. Good to see you again. I um, <clears throat> first and foremost want to thank you so very much for the work in helping me address the pine beetle disaster in Mississippi. When we had that tremendous drought, it really affected our timber and uh, softwood in Mississippi. And as you know, forest landowners and homeowners across the state have just been devastated by this pine beetle infestations. And due to the problem, Mississippians are facing just enormous economic hardship and risks such as forest fires and trees falling on their homes, power lines falling on the roads. I mean, it is really significant in our state uh, with this that I don't remember happening in a very long time. But yesterday, the National FSA office announced the Emergency Forest Restoration Program. The sign-up was beginning, they announced yesterday, for all 82 Mississippi counties. And this was much quicker than we anticipated. And uh, I'm grateful that you made it happen quickly following our conversation of the uh, last Senate Ag Committee hearing just a few weeks ago. It has been very helpful, and I'm relieved that the, the forest owners will have some access to the funds for costs associated with the commercial thinning, the fire breaks, and the debris removal. Uh, I think everybody in my church has a tree down on their house or close to it from uh, attending church and listening to all the concerns, but even driving the interstates throughout the state. It, uh, it's really effective. But however, there's still a long road ahead of getting Mississippi forest landowners, homeowners, and municipalities back on their feet. And I'm continuing to explore multiple angles to assist them. The emergency forest program authorization is certainly a huge step forward for landowners. And I want to make sure as many eligible Mississippians get help as soon as possible, that we they know they're supposed to go sign up, where to go sign up. So uh, I just want to ask you for your commitment to continuing to help me with that um, and help ensure a smooth sign-up process for my constituents. So many times they'll go to the office and they'll say, it was so complicated or I didn't get the right help. But I I'm just asking for your commitment to continue to do that. Uh, Senator, you, you have that commitment, and I think you can take uh, some credit for the early sign-up and for the fact that we extended the sign-up period it, you, traditionally 60 days. Uh, in this case, it's 120 days. Thank you so much.